Good Monday morning, and welcome to Ice Age TV. The Internal Combustion Engine Age YouTube channel talks about all my cars and trucks and motorcycles and SUVs. And wow, what are we doing now? Hey, good Monday morning there, and hope everybody's doing well. Thanks for all the uh, people that subscribe, watch my channel, and being down here in Florida just throws everything off in my life of the schedules, the routines. I'm hungry, and I'm gonna go uptown. Not even going up to town. I'm gonna get something to eat, and so I figure, you know what? I'll just go ahead and make a video as I roll up the road because uh, uh, it's a busy day. It just doesn't end. We have family. You got to take care of people and do activities and blah blah blah. It just doesn't end. So for me, I'm gonna run up the road here, get some <coughs> get some McDonald's, and uh, try to talk about some conversations. Okay, heading over McDonald's. Hey, how about that McDonald's for breakfast? Really? Yeah, it's quick. It's easy. Yeah, my gosh, what a what an evening, right? Anybody here watching the uh, the football antics? What a freaking evening of a game! Like a forever game or what? I mean, that game. I mean, whoever watched it, and I thought to myself, you know what? The conversation we have today is to watch conversations like your watch. Where's my watch? Where's my watch? I got my uh pork tarpon uh, boating shirt on. My brother wants to take the boat out this morning to run the boat up and down the river, so he needs our help because apparently my dad isn't the, uh, you know, of being 92 years old, my brother doesn't feel good about him walking down the boat, uh, <laughs> the boat dock and getting on the boat without some help, so that's kind of why we're going to go do that this morning, but that just conflicts into so many other things that I have to take care of and do, but... We as a family make it work, but anyways, what a freaking uh, long Super Bowl! I mean, Jesus Christ! But I don't know how people watch sports. I don't. I mean, I'm sincere. I don't know how people just sit on a couch for three, four, five, six hours and watch things. I mean, as I forget, progress in life, and as you just come to understand, you're not going to be walking forever. Once you have parents that start to become disabled and not able to move around, you think, yeah, one day that's gonna be me. And I just think, people just sit around all day? How do you do it? I just can't do it. And uh, so I was, I was watching the, the Super Bowl like everybody else was, and all of a sudden it's like, holy crap. You know, we're, we're like five hours into this freaking between the Super Bowl thing, and here we are. Golfers, this is the golf area. Anybody who's in Florida, everybody knows that. And, they're all everybody keeps they want to keep moving so they go golfing so anyways the uh i mean good lord but did i predict it right i said that mahomes would take it and taylor swift should be getting her uh getting be getting a second ring second ring yeah there's no doubt in my mind i'll be blown away the end of the day that down the uh, down the road you heard kelsey say yeah I gave her my ring, man, and then we broke up, and she wouldn't give it back. <laughs> I'll be blown away if that doesn't happen. But it really was a great game, and there you go, Mahomes, man. He get paid. He's getting paid the big bucks. But here's the thing: for Mahomes, he now has three Super Bowl rings. Yes, two back to back, and one he won a few, you know, some years back. Not too many young guys still, for the most part. And so he's tied with Joe Montana. Joe Montana has four Super Bowl rings. Uh, Tom Brady has five Super Bowl rings. So for Mahomes, if he wins another uh, Super Bowl, he'll then outdo Montana. He'll have to win a fifth Super Bowl just to tie Tom Brady. And he'd have to get six to beat the GOAT, Tom Brady. So, but really, uh, really was a really great game. Just too damn long. That Super Bowl, those those halftime intermissions. I mean, those are the things either you really like that or you just don't like it. I mean, for me, I just couldn't get excited about the halftime show. Some people may have, but I didn't think it was that great. But some may be thinking it was great. But we all watched, for everybody here that watched the Super Bowl, and I'd be one to bet a lot of people just didn't watch it. I think a lot of people are not watching things or just turning things off. And that is, what I, so I, that is what I was thinking this morning, was that'd be a great conversation on the YouTube channel, is because what are we watching in front of our eyes develop in front of our eyes? What are we witnessing? What are we watching? And more than ever in today's society, with all of the, uh, all of the iPhones and cameras, I mean, there's so much stuff now where you can watch things 
where you could just spend all day long just sitting there and watching things. And you think so many years ago, if you go back to uh, just, you know, really 30, 40 years ago, really the era when I was growing up, you didn't have all this technology and you didn't sit around watching things. You were sitting around, you weren't sitting around, you were out doing things. I mean, I can still remember so many others my age would say that you were out in the streets playing. You were out riding your bicycle. You were out playing football, basketball, uh, baseball, you know, whatever. You were out and about doing things. But yet today, in today's society, more than ever, everybody just sits around and watches things. And everybody wonders why this country, and I guess I don't know so much about the Europe, in this country, the BCD, the diabetes levels are through the roof. But even for the diabetes, you can't always relate that directly with the, uh, the lifestyle of sitting around. But, but the whole point is, uh, the obesity in this country is through the roof. And you have to just say that, yes, it's because more than ever, mankind is sitting around watching things. Which, uh, yeah, do we all participate in that? We do. But how much? Where do you have the discipline to kind of cut it off? And that's the challenge. Where do you just, you know, pick your britches up and get out the door? And that's the thing for me. I just uh, always am very active, and I'm always outside doing something, and and that's just what I like. But yet there's some people that can just sit around all day long and watch things, and uh, and whatever. I'm not here to be critical of others on my YouTube channel, but once again, watching the Super Bowl yesterday, I thought to myself, wow, the amount of time that people spend watching things and the amount of content out there to, to let you watch things. But then here's the next thing. Here's the new Apple um, Vision Pro. I don't know if you know the ski goggle story, but the uh, Apple Vision Pro. Have you seen that thing? Holy crow. <laughs> I mean, talk about looking at a person walking around that you think maybe spaced out or doing drugs. If you ever look in, into the uh, Apple uh, Vision Pro, I mean, it's really incredible technology that's using your eye movements and your, your hand and arm movements. So it is pretty incredible what Apple has created. Uh, and it's pretty intriguing to maybe buy one of those things. But wow, you're just walking around with basically uh, all your uh, technologies wrapped around your head. And yeah, all the technology is wrapped in, into your head. And you're sitting there doing all of your, uh, your work with your eyes and your hand gestures by tapping your hand and moving your your arm up and down. All right, I'm here to, I'm gonna get something to eat. The kid wants something to eat and I gotta follow this person here that just doesn't seem to be watching what they're doing because they just pulled out of their space and they're taking a while to try to get around there. Uh, are they gonna, oh my gosh, this is classic. This person just pulled out of the parking spot and, you know, I tried to use my mobile app this morning. I couldn't get it to work right. So, yeah, it just doesn't end. I'm not lying. I tried to do an order of my own app and have it all ready here waiting for me. But you know what? Just isn't that simple. If you watch my channel, you'll see that there's a lot going on because, for me, I'm uh, out there riding the bikes, getting the, uh, the motorcycles, changed out the accessories. And if you watched any videos yesterday, you'll be like, yeah, I'm going to make an order. So, hold on here. And now we're in the lime. You know, usually these fast food places have everything down. And this guy here is going to be nice. Thank you, sir. That I was here before you, and he didn't uh, pull in front of me, which we you know those routines, right? The people are either nice. But tell you what, the, the weather down here, wow, it is just so nice. Today's supposed to be 70s. The rest of the week kind of in the 60s, but just great riding weather. And I tell you what, that breakout, that uh, Harley-Davidson breakout is so much fun i mean i'm just truly loving that bike but then i'm not lying to you yesterday when i went to uh, get the, the uh i gotta get my car out here sorry if everybody's seen all the interruptions not easy being down here in florida and kind of you know making the things work in the video and doing everything you know sometimes i just like yeah just take a time out don't make any videos so, yeah i mean that part of me is just like yeah just take a time out take a little break but eh, i just like to talk and share things and here's the thing that's not a real great video whatever <laughs> You got to see me, see my face again and hear my voice another day, right? So here we are. Thank you. 
Wow, I haven't even had any freaking coffee yet. Jesus Christ, man. How do you make a YouTube channel without having a cup of coffee, right? So anyways, let me get the uh, the car back home, get some coffee, and, uh, and finish up my conversation here, okay? And we got all the guys out working out in the street. Now, you know, if you think to yourself, it's just... One thing about living these associations, it's never-ending noise. I mean, I'm not lying. It's never-ending noise. These guys are either cutting grass, blowing, you know, leaves, trimming trees. It just doesn't end. Yeah. Yep, HOAs. And then they'll take a picture of my truck and my parents drive it right here. And then my parents will get a violation. that You can't park a truck in the driveway. But yet my next-door neighbor's SUV, it really looks that much more attractive than a truck. But I've had these conversations a gazillion times. So I'll we'll leave it at that. All right, back to the frickin' the house, right? The garage with all the Harleys. Harley Nation, Harley, you know, you go back a year ago, I had my Indian down here. What other Harley did I have down here? I had my other CVO, lava-colored, and I had the, the uh, so I had the Indian Chief Bobber, which is up north now, which I bought all down here, only now to bring back down a bunch of Harleys. And if you watch my channel, <clears throat> excuse me, you'll see yesterday that I changed out the exhaust on this uh, Harley. And I put on these Reinhardt <coughs> slip-on exhaust uh, mufflers, and I really think they really sound great. So for anybody out there that hasn't been watching my channel and didn't hear the, uh, the mufflers, I'm going to start up right now because the bike just sounds really good. And I'm very happy. With the bike right now, even though yesterday when I was riding this over to my brother's house, the exhaust note, it just it makes a difference to me of the fun factor of not so much. So let's start her up, wake up the neighborhood. Wow. I mean, I can honestly say that is extremely loud for just a slip-on muffler in this 121 motor. So now, before I left yesterday, let's just listen to uh, how this sounds. Because in so many ways, this is what that bike right there sounded like. And do we have it in neutral? Probably not. And low tire pressures. I can't believe it. Um... Eisenhower Hurley didn't put the uh, tire pressures on this bike before I bought it, which they didn't, but oh well, whatever. So, what do you got here? Listen to that. I mean, that's, that's how this sounded yesterday. I mean, so, for somebody out there that has excellent hearing, that may be more than enough for them. I mean, they may be very content on that exhaust. But for me, no way. It just isn't enough. So, huge difference in the... Uh, and I think most here that are Harley people, they all get all that. And then the breakout. The breakout's so fun. Oh, wow. So, the uh, the kid the kid in popcorn, they're back faster than they can be. So, I guess they didn't uh, go to a Cracker Barrel. I don't know what's going on. They're sitting here talking, yakking. Yeah, they, here's uh, two peas in a pod. Here they are. Yep. Popcorn in the kit. What have they been doing? But anyways, so yesterday, one of my brother's house changed out the... Uh, what's this all about? I mean, it just doesn't end. What button did I hit now? Probably have to turn the bike on to turn this flasher off. I'm not lying to you. Yeah. Okay. And I said I'm going to take him to China and eat Chinese food. Okay, that's nice. You probably said, yeah, let's go to China. Did you guys are going to get a... McDonald's? Yeah, in the house. This is about the weirdest thing I've seen. You're eating breakfast while making a YouTube video. Yeah. <laughs> I 
Uh, hey, we're in Florida, we're vacationing, right? We're having fun. Why don't you help your 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 granddad? What? She just abandoned her grandfather. As a ninety one year old going on ninety two year old trying to get out of the car. Right? So anyways, so uh the next project as you can probably figure out is the Fast Johnny. I'm gonna put new exhaust on the the Fast Johnny and put on saddlebag bars to protect it. New windscreen to give this thing some uh, some highway pegs. And one of my subscribers are saying that you're going to ruin the uh, those lower highway bars if you put those special uh, highway pegs on them. There's a notched. Actually, that bar is notched for an area where you mount the um, highway pegs. Just so you know, there's a little um, bulbous um, on that bar. That is that's exactly where you're supposed to put it, so you just don't you don't ruin that bar per se. But I'm amazed at how comfortable I am per se of riding this breakout. I'm taken back on how I really am more comfortable than I thought I'd be. And then what's even more exciting is the helmet I got. I got a brand new helmet, and that helmet is so nice that it enables you to uh, I'll go get it and show it to you. I used to be gimpy. So he just closed the door on me. <laughs> All right, I don't know where to show this helmet. You know this helmet here. In some ways, some some people be like, ah, it's goofy, man, because there's this big front uh, shield on it. But it's not. That is the best helmet I've bought per se. That's an open face, somewhat helmet. And this right here is just so uh, great on how you still get a great view, but it keeps all the air off of you and riding that breakout this is the most comfortable helmet that i've had where it shields the air correctly and it just i mean i just can't emphasize enough i even when i bought this i was like man is this thing really going to be the right you know type of uh helmet to get it has a little sun visor for you and once again just really uh you got a little switch here on the side that push that up and down but i'm telling you that is a great helmet i really like it Maybe I look a little goofy, goofy on it. Yeah, who cares? I'm having fun. It's all about having fun on your bike. So anybody out there that's looking for a helmet, I know. I have the full face, showy, shoey, um, expensive helmets. I want to put a uh, Bluetooth on that. But anyways, the whole point is riding with that helmet yesterday was very enjoyable on the breakout bike. And those 65, 70 plus mile an hour speeds, I felt good on that bike, which I'm really surprised because it's such a naked bike. And for those people out there that watch my channel, I'm just, for me, I'm, I'm very fortunate to have the income to be able to jump on different bikes and have a different experience. I mean, I, I know that. I'm very fortunate. And that's all it's about. That I, my, my, this time of my life, I have the success and the monies to be able to go have a lot of fun. And that's why I just go out and buy a lot of different things because it's not going to last forever for those out there that watch my channel. But, you know, back to the watch conversation, it's just incredible on how, we live in a society more than ever where so many people watch things. And unfortunately, a lot of things that people are watching really aren't for the best of those, especially the younger generation and even the older generation where so many people are getting caught up in what really is just in my ways and views, demented, just demented, you know, things. It's really bad. And it's changing our society right in front of us where more than ever people can watch things that um, are brainwashing them. That's really what it is. You know something I was noticing yesterday riding home on my bike? It's just a little fine detail. The CVO anniversary, 1999 to 2024, 25 years. So 1999 was the first year out that they made a CVO, Custom Vehicle Operations Harley Division, to spruce up the bikes and make them look really cool, really neat. Love the low rider. I'm just, I always say low rider. Why is that? Here's my daughter's. Lowrider ST. That's the problem. Because I didn't own an ST before. So I had the Fast Johnny ST just for a very short time. Whole point is here's the uh, Harley Davidson Road Glide CVO ST. And I just really have, I'm really loving this bike. Especially now I have this new uh, fairing. And some are out there saying you should have a tinted, more a little more dark um, windscreen. My understanding is this bike was under wraps, undercover for so long that when they revealed it, the, the industry just wasn't ready for it. So all the aftermarket guys don't have the accessories. That's hard to believe 
being of August of last year, this bike was revealed and I bought one. <laughs> this whole new design. So it's very hard for me to believe. But here's the thing for me. With my stature seen on this motorcycle, if I get the dark colored screen, I'm not lying here to you. If I get the dark colored screen, I am now darked out. I don't like that idea. So sure, I have a really cool look. But if I'm coming back in in the evening, or it starts getting a little dark, I am totally blinded out. So that's not going to work. I mean, even though it's going to give the bike a little bit more of a cool theme, um, I'm just not really comfortable with that. Um, really, what I should have done is I should have a better flared up um, windscreen that keeps the windscreen kind of still low, but has more of a kick to it, which that's a possibility. That's what I'm doing on this Road Glide Fast Johnny. I'm putting the same size windscreen on it, but it has more of a flare on it to kick the air up from my face. I just don't like riding a bagger bike with a freaking huge front end where you're getting wind all over your body. Why do you have a freaking, I mean, why are you even riding it then? This is supposed to protect you and give you that more comfortable ride where you're not fighting the wind with your body. And that's what happens when you think your bikes, when you're doing 70, 80 miles an hour, 100 miles an hour, you feel that direct wind on your body, and it's not as confident as a feel as it is when you're on these bikes that cut through the wind. And if you watch videos of people riding these bikes, you can just kind of see by their body posture and the, and the way the bike moves around, a lot goes to that. So, anyways, a lot of conversation, just to kind of keep my YouTube channel going. And, you know, what are we watching? What are we going to watch this year? What is going to play out? And now, of course, it's all about the politics, as always. It always is about the state of times, the politics. As I'm down here on vacation, drinking my McCaff, my, my McCafe, my McCaff, McDonald's uh, coffee, as it probably starts to make me hack and cough, which it will. Uh, the trees down here just shred and trash everything. I mean, it's so bad. Now, I don't know why these developers put these trees in. Does this make any sense? People design stuff. I just sometimes want to go up and go, you went to college and you thought you were smart, but you plant these trees in these in these divisions where it's going to be the never-ending challenge of where the trees, the tree uh, roots are going to just ruin all the sidewalks. You can just see the sidewalks are buckling and then all the debris that ends up trashing into all the roofs, the gutters, the cars, and then you have to pay landscaping companies even more money to constantly come in here and be challenged to clean up all the debris all the time, which just raises all the homeowner, homeowners association fees. I mean, it makes no sense that they put all these trees in. They just try, just, oh my gosh, man. They just, uh, yeah, I know. As you get older in life, you just step back and think, does this make any sense? Yeah, I'm sure anybody watch my channel, I'm like, well, dude, do you make any sense? How many freaking cars and trucks do you have? But as I say to people all the time, I share a lot of information. You know, it's incredible. There's so many people that have so much more money than I do. And that's fine. I don't really care. But I just think it's funny. I share everything I have. So it, it comes across and I'm just this filthy ass rich guy. I'm not. <laughs> so <laughs> hate to break that news. I'm just a guy that signs off on bank loans and only hopes in our day I can continue to make the payments. Other people in the world, they've invested their money, they've bought houses. There's so many people out there have millions of dollars in bank, but you don't see it. And then you have two, three houses, four houses, five houses, boats, I mean, RVs, but you don't see it. And so that's why for so many years, I'm not even bringing this up. It's just every now and then people really kind of get in these comments section like, oh my God, you, and it's just like, dude, you're so far off. And it isn't really a big deal, but I just like to continue to share how, yeah, I'm just a wild man that just has addictions that I can just make work for the moment. Does it last? Eh, who knows? But you know what? It Whatever. It doesn't for me, per se. But I just like to share what goes on on my YouTube channel. That's all it is. I just like to share that some people give me the most best comments. And that's awesome. But then you have some others who are just kind of, you know, as you know, they just not the, uh, the nicest of the world. And are they jealous? But whatever. But yesterday's actual conversation at the church was discipline. A really great sermon. I videoed it on my YouTube channel. It's one of my really good sermon, just about discipline and how that works in life. That's a great thing to go watch if you want. I took the time to hold my phone, phone with my one arm for freaking 40 minutes. Can you do that? Can you hold your phone up? Let me ask you a question. Can you hold your phone up like I do day in, day out at this level of your, your shoulder, like I do right here? Can you do that for 40 minutes? I'm just sincere. 
Try it. Pick up your phone, walk around like I do, and hold it up in the air for 20, 30, 40 minutes at a time as you walk around. And I don't have a stick. This is just my hand. And yeah, you'll find out real quick. My daughter started to do it, and she's wimped out within three to five minutes. So it takes some time. But anyways, how about that? And uh, just want to keep the YouTube channel going. And like I say, in the conversations, watch. What do we watch? And sadly, in today's society, so many people are being brainwashed by what they watch. And sadly, we're getting ready to witness an election year of the hate, of the hate, of the hate, of the hate. And that's all you're going to watch. You're going to be told you're stupid. You're going to be told you're just dumb. And the list goes on and on and on if you're going to vote for a specific party. And, you know, and what are we watching right in front of our eyes? The country that in so many ways has gone to total disarray. But hey, that gets all too lengthy. I'm on vacation or am I? Am I on vacation? Somewhat, but not totally. I gotta go to work. So I'm going to cut it off there. Always stay tuned for more adventures. And uh, do I get the Ford F-450? I don't know. I don't know. I didn't even talk about that, did I? And I'll leave it for later. If that starts to play out, you'll see videos. Otherwise, I don't think it's going to work out. But anyways, have a great day. Have a great day. God bless. Stay safe and stay tuned.